Being a superhero is a tough gig. Wouldn't recommend it to anyone. Mr. Pierce, he's been adorned in my side for far too long. And tonight, I'm going to clip your stem. Goodbye, Mr. Pierce. Be sure to study for your test on Monday. It will not be an open notes test, so make sure you have all the formulas down and the algorithms. Have a good weekend. Virgil. What's up, Mr. Pierce? You tell me. I can't tell you what's up, but I can tell you what's down. Your grades? Your attention in class, your head on the desk as you sit through my lecture. You're supposed to be a straight A student. Look, I'll do better, all right, man. Now, I've heard that before. Miss, Mr. Pierce, I don't think you really understand. You Why really... do you even come to class, Virgil? Huh? No, whatever, man. Hey! Hey, sit down. I'm not done talking to you yet. Man, come on, Mr. Pierce. Sit down, Virgil. Look, you wouldn't understand, man. Do you think you're the only person in this neighborhood who has problems? Problems? You don't know nothing about me, Mr. Pierce. Oh, I don't, huh? No, man. Why are you sweating me all of a sudden? Okay. Okay. I understand what went down in Paris Island, OK? The destruction of Dakota City, the school closing. But I stepped up, and I told the board to bust you guys here until your school is rebuilt. So yes, I do understand. What are these? All the mail from Hemingway High is routed here. Yeah. Letters from Metropolis University. Virgil, I wasn't lying to you when I told you that you're one of my brightest students. If you want to be successful, it starts today. Hey, do you understand me? OK. Hi, Mr. Pierce. Good to have you back, Mr. Ware. I see. I assume your commands have been followed. Everything is in order as you requested. The men are in position and we are on schedule. Excellent technique. Sir.
Metropolis ASPCA is now requiring all pet owners to have their cats and dogs spayed and neutered by January 1st. And a young Metropolis man claims he found out the secret of how Superman flies. Hoax or truth, you decide. Now here is Beth Sloan. Good evening, I'm Beth Sloan, and here's tonight's top story. Mayor Berkowitz is heavy on the campaign trail this month as he visits one of his local campaign offices located in the part of Metropolis known as Suicide Slum. His concern is the violence there, and although violence has dropped 5% last year, it has since doubled that amount this year. I'm here to change that. This is WGBS 7 News with your trusted reporter, Beth Sloan, serving all of your Metropolis area needs, brought to you by Luther Corp. Why do you keep doing this? I don't need you to dictate to me on how I should live my life. I'm not telling you how to live your life. I'm just saying you just you what? Should... Looking out for me? I don't need you to protect me anymore, Jefferson. Perhaps not you, but did you take into consideration the safety of our daughters? I mean, isn't that the reason why we decided that they would stay with you? The girls are just fine. Thank you very much. Lynn! Lynn! talking to you. They're fine now, but what happens when those guys decide to put a bullet in your head because of all the noise that you're creating in the neighborhood? We've spoken about this before. I'm just... Baby, I'm, listen, I'm just saying, I, I want you to be careful, okay? And I'm telling you, I'll be just fine. Lynn. Lynn! You know, it's a shame. You're more worried about me now that we're divorced than when we were married. <sighs> wow. Talk about shock therapy. That woman's got more voltage than me. I hear you. How's the kiddos? Actually, they're doing quite good, man. Both of them are top 3% of their class in school. Nice, nice. <laughs> So how you doing, Bibbo? Ah, I'm barely managing this place myself. Really? I thought you was doing good here. Well, with the murder rate going through the roof, nah. People are even afraid to come out for a drink in the daylight. Yeah. Mayor Metropolis is up for re-election, talking about the violence in this neighborhood. In my opinion, though, this place is cursed. Let the infection spread, it kills the whole body. Metropolis is slowly turning into Gotham. And it's always something. Mm, tell me about it. Metropolis Mayor Frank Berkowitz, who currently was visiting his campaign trail in the suicide slums, has been taken hostage by former councilman Tobias Whale and members of the 100 Gang. People of Metropolis have returned back to this glorious city to extend the proposition. In your custody, you have several political prisoners from my organization. Five at Strikers Island, and five at Vinco Maximum Security Facility. And I... <laughs> I have the mayor of Metropolis. <laughs> We're looking to make a trade. something. Yeah. See you, Bibbo. Bibby, my man. Hey, Jose. How you doing, brother? All right. 
How does it fit? Fits well. It looks good. Here, let's put this on. I resized the couplings in your belt to give you more control of your magnetic field. Unlike your previous suit, every thread in this material has been slightly magnetized, making it easier to ionize the electrons in your surrounding environment. This way, you'll have a much more efficient and concentrated electrical discharge. I can feel the difference. Indeed. Thank you, Peter. You don't have to thank me. I owe you. You don't owe me anything. Yes, I do, Jeff. You're every bit as admirable as the man your father was. To see you here today, fighting for what's just and right, helping this community overcome great adversity, would have made him very, very proud. If I didn't help you, I would be doing him a great disservice. I'm proud of you. I am proud of the man you've become. Hey, Lightning. Strike with a sound mind. Don't let the past cloud your judgment. This little plan of yours is gonna work? You're sadly mistaken. This city does not make deals with terrorists. Besides, Superman's coming for me. And when he gets here, your plan's gonna be blown to smithereens. That's the damn problem with you politicians. You don't have a clue as to what's happening in your own city. When I was in office, I was much more informed than current events. Superman isn't even on the planet at the moment. <laughs> He's not gonna save you. There are others? Yes, yes. And we're quite prepared for whoever comes our way. Specifically one. God. Detective Henderson, what's the situation? It's not good. We're looking at about 15 to 30 suspects, heavily armed. Two possible medals among them. Medals? The powers, ability, and skills? Don't know. Cameras in the building are down. SWAT can't get eyes inside. These guys are smart. Until we can assess the full extent of the capabilities, there's not much we can do. Tobias knows this area well. He used to own property here. What's he up to? It's a good question. Don't know. Yeah. Haven't heard or seen him in years. Now he's back asking for prisoners. Doesn't make any sense. Prisoners don't make sense, Detective. They're just dead. Look, Lightning. 
don't want to lose any more men this month, you know? Metas make us nervous. We're not equipped to handle those types like Central City. I got you. Every man stand back. I'm going in. No lightning, it's a trap! Get him. invited to this party. Guns, blood, fighting, destruction, and the well body of the city office show. I could say I'm in the perfect place. Put your money on a guy. This will be my first and only attempt at diplomacy. Give me the mayor and you all may live with your lives. Your reputation for hand to hand combat precedes you. Too bad I gotta bruise that beautiful face of yours. You may try.
silver well. Let him go. It's always been about you, Lightning. He's just collateral damage. To hell will percolate to the prisoners. Do you not think I will get back at you for what you did to me? Look at me! You killed my father! This is between you and Lightning. Belkowitz is mine. I warn you. Give him to me. Who is your savior? That is none of your concern. Say if the hunter's putting hands on you, you can always call up your boy. Really, Derek? Everybody saw you get pieced up by Wade last year. Stop trying to act like you're like Mike Tyson or John Stewart or something. Whatever. Oh, hey, ain't nobody scared of Green Lantern. He can cast this fade real quick. You wouldn't say that about Batman. Oh, oh, oh my God. Settle down, please. Let's go. Mr. Pierce, I caught this one sneaking in after the bell. All right, thank you, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, Derek, I bet Virgil could kick your ass. More like lick it. Get a life, Freaky Frida. <laughs> Mr. Fizz, I, um, I didn't mean to be late or anything. I just had a lot. Just don't let it happen again, all right? Okay. All right, take a seat. Hey! Man. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Cut it out, guys. Really? <laughs> Virgil, thank you. 
Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. Get your books open. Here we go. Test time. Talking. I'm just gonna get up out of here. I like it oh. 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 Tobias man. I didn't kill him. Yo, what the yo, yo, Batman, did you just not hear what I said right now? I'm a fan of your work, bro. I wanted to. But I did. Look, if I'm not home, it wasn't my baby mama my baby mama would kick my ass. We stop. I understand. Similar paths you and I. Brother, uh, get your boy, man. Hold on. Get come on, man. So is that why you're here? No. Wait a minute, this is about the Justice League I already told you. Suicide slums need me, I can't. No, it's about. Come on, let me go. Come on, man!